My name is Amy Lund. I'm a hand weaver. And I got interested in doing this when I was, oh, 10 or 11. Yeah, I started with learning to spin fiber on a spinning wheel. And when you make fiber and yarn, you have to do something with it. So I first learned knitting from my mother. And then I got interested in textiles, machinery, textile history, because we're in an New England area which has a lot of mills, uh, a lot of mill history. Uh, so I just kind of got interested and explored it, read a lot, took a weaving class, and have been doing it ever since. Right now I'm putting the shuttle, which has a bobbin of yarn on it, into the shed, which is the opening here, made by pressing my feet on pedals, which raise the harnesses, and every thread goes through one harness and one heddle, so that it's raised or lowered. I push it forward so it makes it nice and even, and then I switch my feet on the pedals to raise the opposite harnesses, and that basically raises the odd threads, whereas the even threads were raised before. And then I just run the shuttle back through and pull it forward. And this is a very delicate piece I'm doing, so I don't want to slam it forward as tight as I would a rug. I'm making it actually very open and loose and lacy for a table runner, perhaps for wedding gift or just a summer cottage. I love linen and the way it looks, nice and crisp. Often spinning something. <laughs> this is some wool, but I've been also working on alpaca recently. Um, I have some buffalo fiber that someone gave me. And I still like to knit, I just don't always have the time. So I also sell the hand spun yarn as I make it in case someone gets to a project before I do. <laughs> This is the table runner that was featured recently in House Beautiful magazine. It's, to me, a sort of a classic look. Simple blues, greens, a little bit of khaki. Goes with a lot of things. I also think of it as a cottage look, but it could be winter or summer. You know, it's simple, again, not a lot of patterning. It's just a, a plain weave fabric but a little bit of color just adds a little bit to it. So they included it in their Made in America the Best, which is flattering. 